What is happening, folks? What a wonderful Monday, which is when this will be posting. This is Jimmy G in the place to be, bringing you to another fantabulous episode of The Good, The Bad, The Awesome, where we unbox, give my first reaction to all things pop culture. So if you like that kind of stuff, hit that like and subscribe button if you like to see toys if you like to see talk about anime whatever it may be, hang out with me hang out in this journey with me and if you've been doing that thank you so so very much a uh, huge shout out to all of you that are members all of y'all that are subscribers you all are amazing as we march to 5,000 subscribers by the end of the year we do have our 2,000 subscriber giveaway going on so make sure you enter that to win some fabulous prizes like you could you could take home something very cool so make sure you enter into that too uh and then as well don't forget about our three youtubers that we're talking all sorts of good stuff about so i'll put a link to their channels down below but don't forget about them they're either here or here somewhere up above you can see their banners right there so let's talk about them but today we're gonna go back to a soft spot of mine that is a Voltron. Voltron is a soft spot of mine and I love me some Voltron and I got a Voltron I want to share with you. You may have seen my Vehicle Force Voltron which is by Action Toys which looks so cute but today we're going to be going with the Go Lion, the Lion Force Voltron by Action Toys. So I can't wait to unbox this with you all, give you my first reactions and tell you, is this cute little guy? Is he worth it? Are you worth it, cute little guy? So let's get to my lab. So intro, roll it. <music> From the same company that brought you Vehicle Force Voltron, right here, bum, 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 bum. and the same company that brought you Vehicle Force Voltron, right here, we have Lion Force Voltron from Action Toys. Voltron Lion Force by EOS Goken Series 2.5. It is the deformed, the chibi style Voltron here, and I'm excited to get this one open. I've had the Vehicle Force one that's the chibi style, and I loved it. I thought it was great. Here's a link to my review uh, that you can definitely see that one. I thought it was freaking awesome. So one turn deserves another, so we've got to get the Lions. And so we got the Lions, so it's the Lions versus Detroit. Uh, I'm just, well, Detroit Lions, I don't know. Anyway, uh, here it is. Here is this beautiful box. Love the packaging. If you don't know much about Lion Force Voltron, uh, well, go look it up on the internet. Uh, but actually, this was one of my favorite cartoons. I, again, what, uh, what I've said before, uh, three or four cartoons I look forward to, Transformers, Thundercats, Voltron Lion Force and Robotech was another one that I really look forward to. Of course, G.I. Joe is in there and Mask and all those other ones, but Voltron, whenever it was on, it had my full attention. Now, most of us know Lion Force Voltron, uh, known as Go Lion in Japan, uh, but uh, not a lot of us know a lot about Vehicle Force or the other one, the Gladiator uh, Voltron, which is uh, really cool that I hope to get my hands on someday. But here it is, here's the front of the box, very cool packaging, side of the box, the back of the box right there. You can kind of see black, red, yellow, green, blue, all the stuff, you get weapons and everything, warnings, all the stuff, all the things. But what we wanna do is get this baby out of the box so we can see what he is all about. So let's do it. Oh my gosh, you get so much stuff. And I like stuff, but there's way too much of it here. So first of all, you get the instructions right here. Very nice little booklet that you do get. The top layer of this box is, well, let's, do, let's start with the bottom layer. Bottom layer has everything you need for Voltron. So you have the blazing sword, you have the two swords, which is cool, the, the blazing shield or the rotating shield. And then you have these covers, which are arm covers and leg covers to cover up the legs. And you have this, cool little beautiful stand here so we'll put that to the side and then the top layer is all the lions and stuff so you get the black the green the red the blue the yellow lion you get all of their weapons 
here and all the auxiliary weapons that you get to as well. So everything in the top part deals with the lions, everything in the bottom part deals with Voltron himself. So now that I've shown that to you, let me get all this stuff out. Oh my gosh, these are so precious. Look at them. They are so beautiful. Um, they're like little tiny kitties. They're like the dwarf cats. This dwarf Voltron here. Uh, so here they are out of the box with all of them. All of the lions, the red, the blue, the yellow, the green, and the black. Uh, and if anyone can tell me the names of the pilots of these, you'll get bonus points. Uh, so I won't name them all off. I know Paige is one and, and Hunk is another. Uh, but here is... Here they are, and just feeling them as I was taking them out of the package, they feel premium. Even though they're small, they feel they have a lot of heft to them, just like the uh, Vehicle Force Action Toys one, um, just built with quality. Uh, so when we take a look, let's just bring up the black line here. But look how cute this little guy is. Oh my gosh, he's like a little dwarf cat. But, uh, but you can tell it's Voltron. Here's all the details on him. Uh, just a very nice and a hefty, heavy with the die cast metal and everything uh, with all of that it has. And you do have articulation here. You have some articulation in the feet too as well. I like, like with all Voltrons, you have some articulation uh, that you can do. The mouth does move. Uh, you gotta be careful because you'll have Voltron's head come up too. Uh, so that way you can put in his weapon which we'll grab here, stick that right in his upper mouth. And this is the weapon, folks, right there. And so you can kind of pop that up in, in there, if I can. There's like a little spot for it. There we go. And now he's holding the weapon there. And then um, here, you also have these little parts right here. These are mainly for the arms, uh, but if you pull them out, let me see if I can get them out here. There we go. One, two, and you can put in his little cannons too here. So we'll pop that on. Hopefully it doesn't like me. Come on, there we go. Boom. Let's grab the other cannon. Pop that on. And you just gotta kinda push it on there until it snaps in. There you go. And we got, he is armed to the teeth now. There he is, just armed with his armor and everything that he has uh, right there. So from a, from a size standpoint, what you're looking at is, oh, about five inches from, from nose to tail, and then a little under two and a half inches tall uh, for the black lion. But that's the black lion there. We'll take a look at the yellow lion next. I won't go through all of them. We'll just go through, should I go yellow or blue? Let's go, ah, let's go blue, I like blue. And here is the blue lion. He's a cutie too as well, a cutie patootie. I am so excited to have you. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Uh, but you have that movement. You have the up and down a little bit too as well. Um, legs, you do have articulation in and out, up and down. The feet also articulate too as well. Uh, so that way you can get them in different poses and you can have them sit. You can have them do whatever you want to. And then of course you do have his weapon as well. Pull his mouth open right there. Rawr. And we'll throw in his little blue, blue. I love the fact that his weapons are uh, color coded. So that way you can kind of make sure you have them in the right place. And this one looks like it's just got to fit between the teeth here. There we go. He got that. And then he does have a few other weapons and we'll get him armed to the teeth here in just a moment, figuratively speaking. And then let's grab red, show you red. Red has the side-to-side uh, -side articulation because it's the arm, of course, and then of course the head. You don't have much, you have a little bit, but you do have the mouth does open, legs. Again, same articulation you'll have with the legs uh, there too as well, but there he is looking beautiful. Let's give him his, his little weapon. 
You want your weapon? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yes, you do, you little red lion. There we go. Pop that in. And he is ready to slice and dice. And we'll get all his other stuff on there. But just to show you, and I'll give you kind of the rotisserie view here. So there's the side, the top, the side, the bottom, the front, and the butt. He's got a big butthole, so he can, uh, he can poop a lot. And then the green one, let's bring the green one in. So there's the side, the top, the side, the bottom, the front, and the back here. So heads don't pop off on this guy like the original where you can kind of shoot the heads off, but uh, that's okay. So let me do this. Let me go ahead and get them all armed the way they should be armed, and we'll take a look at them a little further. And here they all are, armed to the teeth. Uh, so very cool. There are some parts where you have to kind of pull parts off. So I've got like pieces of parts off, uh, especially with the blue and the yellow lions. Uh, like there's caps that you pull off to put their weapons on. Now my one big complaint, the blue lions weapons are, are, are off. So this is supposed to be over here. And this is supposed to be over here, but the way the thing fits, uh, they made it opposite. Well, maybe, well, no, just a second. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Let me try something here. Forgive me, folks. Forgive Jimmy G for being idiotic. There we go. And... There we go. Now, now I got it right. There we are. So you can see his weapons are in. All of them are in right there. So it looks really, really cool. Um, and then here's the green. He's got his little guns. Uh, and they kind of just fit right in on the legs. And then this part pops up. Uh, and then he's got his little sword, uh, his little blades there. So that's really cool. And then let's take a look at the black lion. Of course, we already put his in, but we got his two big bazooka missiles uh, right there that are on. So very, very nice. And then the red lion, he's got his little guns on and his little blade. This part, you had to pop off the red lion. So, and then put this on. So that way you can have the weapons and then uh, and then the yellow lion got his stuff in too as well. So uh, all of them very, very nice, very fun to play with. So if you enjoy Voltron, now the hard part is, is you got to decide, do you want to keep them in lion mode or do you want to keep them in Voltron mode or whatever it may be? Sometimes people get multiple copies of it so that way they can do that so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have some fun and get him into Voltron mode all right I de-weaponized all the lions because we've got to get them into Voltron mode and from what I can tell it's probably gonna be pretty similar to how you do any of these uh, Voltrons and putting them into mode so we'll start first let's move these guys out of the way and let's start with the arms first. And so we'll start with the red lion. And so I believe, yep, you pop that up, push the tail in, and then pop that back down. And then these legs, they just kind of, just kind of squeeze together like so. I don't know if you can see that. And so you want to do the same thing on the other side. And then the same thing with these, you just kind of, kind of squeeze them up like so. And there, you got the arm. That's how easy it is. So let's do the green lion. And first of all, let's put his tail back up his butt. That sounded weird, but let's do it anyway. <laughs> oh, anyway. And then legs, squeeze, legs, squeeze, legs. There we go. Such a beautiful ballet. Once you've done a bunch of these Voltrons, it gets to be pretty straightforward on how to do the line. The vehicle one's a little bit different different and difficult because you got 15 freaking vehicles you gotta go over, whereas this you only have five lions. So we got the two arms put together the way they need to. Now let's work on the legs. So the legs, these tails, they kind of flip up, I believe. Let me see, do they flip? Does this flip in first? I think that does, and then that flips in like so. And then this kind of pulls up like that. And then this will kind of be like, like this right here. I want to say, it's kind of, 
Well, if I can get this the way I want it. There we go. Same thing with this one. Leg kind of goes like that. Kind of. This pulls, oh, that's cool. That pulls back to kind of help be a little bit more uh, sturdy kind of uh, piece for that leg. But there you go. That's how that should look. As a leg should look for Vulturan. And then same thing over here. Oh, head. Now here's the one thing about this one. So you can kind of see the glue has kind of come loose on this head. So I'm gonna have to glue it back on so that way it is nice and tight. So, but for, for right now, we will not glue it back on because I have to find the super glue first. Everyone's like, don't you have like a tool chest to kind of fix all this stuff? No, I am the least probably mechanical person you will ever ever meet in your life and then boom boom like so and then boom ah, man tightness but we got her done there we are and last but not least the black lion so he pretty straightforward these come down like so and legs pop down like so and then we'll move those up because this tail goes up like that these there's like a panel i believe underneath here is it is there a panel or does it just shove in like, oh, just does like that. Okay, no panel. Interesting. Here we go. But we'll take and turn and rotate because that has to rotate around. How do we get that around? Hmm. Ah, there we go. Bloop. Bloop. Dee, 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 dee. Bloop. There we go. And this will come down like so. These will go right here like that. And then the ears come out like that. And now we are ready to form Voltron. So let me lift my camera up a little bit so you can see everything that goes into forming Voltron. Form feet and legs. Form arms and body. And I'll form the head. Bum, 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 bum. So let's do this. Let's put the feet and legs in first. And that should just go right in, I believe. Yeah, it should just slide in, folks. So let's see if I can get it to slide in. So, blue lion, yellow lion, yellow lion, blue lion. There we are. This pops right in. And this leg, of course, will go in as well. I'm gonna have to spread that out just a hair. There we go. Here we are. And there you have them, folks. Voltron, defender of the universe, and he is so cute. Oh my gosh adorables adorbs this guy is looking freaking amazing i don't know what i can say about that that's what i'm going to say about that freaking amazing so let's do this let me go ahead and measure him uh fro so from stem to stern he's about six inches so little tiny voltron eh, arm 
legs uh and then yeah, he's a little bit wide but just that chibi kind of cool look to it i think looks great looks great and looks beautiful let me pull him in for a closer look just look at that face the chest everything just a solid feeling right here i mean this is a solid heavy bot for how small it is because of all the die cast that's inside of it uh but everything fits really really good oh gosh i'm so looking excited about this this thing is amazing uh so here he is let's just say from the front from the side from the back there goes his leg from the side and back to the front here and so i got glue that back on so that way we can have some uh, really good Voltron-ish. And then from an articulation, I mean, you know, the head is on a ball. The arms swivel, go up. You got this movement. You got that movement. Uh, and then leg-wise, you have, it goes out like so. You do have more than a 90 degree bend, which is great. You also have, uh, waist crunch ab crunch and a little bit of a swivel uh but that is about it you do have uh ankle tilt and stuff too as well so a very 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 nice looking voltron now if i wanted to and here i am getting off the camera here if i wanted to some things that i could do uh if i wanted to so you can kind of see these here the legs here uh some people may not like that they show i don't mind i i actually prefer the legs showing a little bit but uh as you know it comes with leg covers and things so i can pull the legs off of all of these and put these on so you kind of have them covered up if you want to but i'm not going to do that uh but it is real simple i mean let me just show you how easy it is to pull the leg off here you just well i'll pull this one off first <laughs> it's just there so you can see just on there and then i can pop it back in there we go but that's if you want to do that. You don't have to, it's not necessary, but that's if you want your Voltron to not have, have legs showing. But um, I think this looks great. I'm gonna get him armed up. I wanna show you, and I'm gonna compare him to some other Voltrons. First of all, let's just go ahead and compare him to his brother from another mother, Vehicle Force Voltron right there. You can, so you can kind of see them together. The two right there, boom, that's awesome. That is awesome. I, I, I can't tell you this. Uh, I have a soft spot for Voltron. I do. I really, really do have a soft spot for Voltron. And I'm going to pull this back just a hair. I know you're going to see outside of the camera a little bit. And then we're going to just pop in this Action Toys Voltron right there. So you can kind of see that. But let me go ahead and pull in all my other Voltrons so you can see how he compares to them. All right, I have to go a little handheld with this baby, but there are my other Voltrons that I do have outside of my scope of things. There's all my messy table, how everything is. Uh, so we have the 3-0 Voltron right here. The original Bandai 19, not Bandai, uh, the M Matchbox 1982, lead paint and all. Lucky Cats Microcosmic Cosmic Elvis, and then, of course, the new Action Toys Chibi-looking Voltron right there. So that is all of them. I also do have the original Vehicle Force. I'm waiting for a part to come in so that way I can get him all complete, but I do have him. I also have the Bandai um, Vehicle Force Voltron that we have not reviewed yet, so you'll see that coming up soon. Uh, and a weird cat Voltron, which, yeah, anyway. Uh, so I, and then the Muscle Bear Go Lion Voltron, which I can't wait, which is a KO of the Blitzway Voltron. So that is them. Let me go ahead and bring in all these other guys. We'll put them all together. There we go. There we go. And bum, 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 bum. There they all are. All of my Voltrons standing in a row. Soft spot for Voltron. But let's do this now that we've talked about him, now that we've got him out and things and all sorts of stuff and played with him. Let's give you my final thoughts on Voltron. Together again, back for my final thoughts. 
together again. <laughs> That's my worst Kermit the Frog impression that there ever will be. So my final thoughts on the cute action toys go lion, the chibi style, the dwarf cat style, whatever you want to call it. But here he is probably in the heroic pose. I will probably keep him in, but he is fantabulous. I, like I said, I have a soft spot in my heart of hearts for Voltron. I mean, I have a little wall, a little shrine to Voltron right there. So you can see them all. Uh, I have even more Voltrons I have not unboxed yet. We got the, uh, the uh, well, you heard me say it. We got the uh, Muscle Bear. We've got the Bandai. We've got the uh, Retro Vehicle Force Voltron. So we've got some other Voltrons we're gonna talk about. But this one right here is especially kind of one of my favorite ones. The pros on this, I mean, it is heavy, solid built. You have options on how you wanna display them with legs or without legs. You have a stand that he comes with. I didn't have to use the stand. I didn't want to use the stand or anything like that, but you can have a stand that if you want to have him doing some flight poses and you get multiple weapons, not only for the lions, but also for Voltron himself. So you get all the weapons for the lions, but you also get the blazing sword. You get the dual blade, you get the spinning shield here, which does spin yeah! and it spun right off. <laughs> That's what I get for playing with my toys. Uh, so, uh, but it is there. Let me put this back on. There you go back on, uh, but you get the spinning shield as well as the blazing sword, which is so awesome. My only other complaint, my, my one complaint about this whole thing is this head came off. It wasn't really glued on really well. So I just got to put a little glue on him, make it a little bit purdy, make him stay there and make it uh, nice and solid. But that, boop, it's not supposed to come off. It's there. Uh, this one's on tight. This one is not. So uh, that's my only complaint about these guys. Other than that, they're great. Uh, you may not like the cute style. You may not like this big face dwarf, dwarf body, but I dig it. I think it looks awesome. I think it goes with a great motif, especially for anime lovers. Uh, for those that love chibi style, uh, this is great. So um, go lion. AKA Voltron, you are amazing. This is not made by Bandai. It's not made by any of the other companies. This is made by Action Toys. And I'll put a link to where you can buy it. I think you can get it on Big Bad Toy Store or TF Source, uh, as well as several other places. And definitely look for him when he's on sale. Uh, like, uh, I think normal price is like 260. I've seen him down to 150 to 120 before too, as well. So as you know, I don't buy things normal price. I try to wait till they go on sale, but this guy, he was too good to pass up. I really needed him. I love you. I love you. So this was great. So he goes along with, again, let me bring you in here, buddy. Let me bring you in my vehicle force. So I got both the little dwarf uh, type um, chibi style Voltrons here and they are freaking amazing. And that's all I got to say about that. Don't, I mean, on a scale of good, bad, awesome. He's cute, adorably, awesomeless. Adorbs, awesome. I don't know all the slang. Uh, cap, no cap, whatever. Uh, bet, fam, super awesome. Uh, so he is freaking awesome. And so get him. If you love Voltron, get him. If you don't love Voltron, go ahead and get him anyway. Uh, but that's all I got to say about that. So tune in next time when we talk about something else, good, bad, or awesome. But in the meantime, y'all remember to stay awesome. Be young. <laughs> I messed up my outro. Y'all remember to stay young, have fun, be awesome. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye now.